A winter tale. Luli, Pepe, and Tolin poked their heads out of the cave. The cold of the morning almost froze their long velvet ears. Winter had arrived, and the frost decorated the meadow, wrapping the leaves and the dew drops with his hard, icy coat. It was time to leave their shelter and run to the nearby farm, where the neighbor had carrots and leftover vegetables for them to help them through the winter. The field in summer was a feast of color and flavors, but with the arrival of winter, all that remained to eat was the dry and hard stems of the once delicious vegetables. Soon, these two would disappear, and they would have to dig very deep to find roots and perhaps some forgotten radish. It was the time to take shelter in the heat of the cave and wait for spring to cover everything with his cloak again. Tolin was very naughty. He always challenged his brother and sister to race. He was very fast and came to the garden first. The neighbor gave each of them a carrot and they happily devoured it. After breakfast, Bunny's favorite time came. Mum would come home and give them permission to run around in the woods for a while. They would run, jump, and play hide-and-seek in the caves of other animals in the place. That day, Tolin challenged them to a race and disappear in the blink of an eye. Upon reaching an open space among the trees, he was amazed to see there, perched on a log, a beautiful, immense, and shining Diamond? The sun shined through the clouds, bathing it in his light, and made all the colors of the rainbow spring from it. When Luli and Pepe arrived at the place, they found their little brother, with huge round eyes contemplating the vine. What a beautiful thing, the bunnies exclaim at the same time. And after a while, what are we going to do with it? So they were thinking and thinking. Let's trade it in for carrots, Peppa said. No, we better make a necklace for mom, Luli exclaimed. I found it and I want to save it for myself, said Tolin. Carrots are more useful than a silly diamond, Pepe was angry. But mom works so hard that she deserves a nice gift, Luli shouted very harshly. But I saw it first, Tolin screeched even louder. The discussion continued, and the siblings who never fought were having a big argument. Pepe had the idea to hide the diamond under a bunch of dry leaves while they agreed. So they did. And they went back home, arguing all the way. Running and playing hide-and-seek in the frozen forest no longer seemed fun. 
Mum was surprised to see their angry faces and notice a strange silence among her always happy bunnies. She asked them what was going on. A new discussion began there. Luli is a dummy. You, Tolina, selfish and Pepe is bossy and annoying. Wait a minute, Mum said and asked them to explain the problem. That afternoon, she went with them to the forest to see the great discovery. It is a beautiful diamond, chanted the bunnies. But when they raised the leaves from the trunk, they only found a sad puddle of water. It was probably just a nice piece of ice, children. But already melted, you were angry and fighting over nothing. But mom, said Luli, very sad. It was so beautiful, I wanted to give you a necklace. The best gift that you can give me, my bunnies, is to be obedient, helpful, happy, and not fight with your brothers. You're absolutely right, Mom, the bunnies said. And they made the leapfrog jump one after the other all the way home.